How we doing everybody? I'm gonna show y'all a good one. I'm gonna show y'all a good one. This one's fun. It's uh, Just Like Paradise by David Lee Roth. And I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the guitar player at this time was Steve Vai. I don't know. I'm not, not a history buff, but it's a cool song to learn. I mean, it's really easy. So basically three chords you need and it's the three chords that are in every song. It's A, G, and D. And I'm going to show you uh, with just these type of chords. I've seen people play it, you know. Which, knowing Steve Vai, that's probably the way he plays it. But I'm going to try to simplify it a little bit for you. <clears throat> so basically, it starts off with just an A chord. Just on the second fret there, and you hold that for a little bit. And then that little lick, if you want to know it, you just slide up to the 7 on the G, then 6 on the G, and then 7 on the D. And then an open A at the very end. And then you go back to the four. But basically, for the chorus, you're going to start on G, and then D, and then A. So it's going to sound like... This is the reason I like this song, is because if you know an A pentatonic, which is starting on your fifth fret here, you do this little box. You can go absolutely nuts on this song. You can do whatever you want. You can do all that crazy stuff and it'll fit in this song. And then the verse. So let's talk about that. Basically, you're just chugging along at a G power chord here. And then there's a D power chord. And then you want to scoot up to E. Or you can do a full E. And then you go straight back in. You go... It's too much fun. You just get those three chords in order and then go crazy. If Okay, I'll show you the crazy stuff if you're interested. The other way that he plays those chords, the way I saw it on YouTube, which is why I'm making this video because I think it's retarded. But he plays his G and it's kind of... So I'm using my thumb to come over to hit the root note there and then play in this kind of, kind of a C chord shape. But it's on the D string on the fifth one. So you got that chord. And then this second chord, which I guess is a D somehow. I don't know. I've never played this in my life, but 
um, you're gonna have one finger on the fourth fret of the D string. Your next finger will be on the second fret of the G and then third fret of the B. And then you go back to your other. That's another way to play it if you're interested. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Have fun with it.